Part 1, Wanderer The Romance of Jack O'Lantern Part 1, Greater Churl Was Never Known On this earth and Stingy John From his door the poor were turned Unrelieved and cursed and spurned One night, Jack was homeward coming Midnight, round his path was glooming As he reached the river's side Someone near him moaned and cried For the love of heaven, he said Mercy have, and lend me aid Way worn traveler am I Leave me here, and I shall die Stingy Jack's hard heart was touched Quick the stranger he approached Raised him up upon his mare Brought him home and fed him there Part 2, Angel Gray-haired wanderer down he lay But, before the break of day To the bed of Jack he hies Winked like seraph of the skies Heavenly beauty graced his face Heavenly brightness filled the place When Jack, starting up, had woke Thus the angel smiling spoke Though called a churl by I all around Miri in your heart I found Ask three gifts I'll give them you And my blessing add thereto Greatly at all this Jack wondered Long, what he should ask he pondered Scratched he off in his shock head Then, thus to the angels said I wish whoever takes my chair May be fastened firmly there He to chair and chair to ground Till my leave to go be found Part 3 Wishes Next I pray whatever fools Meddle with my box of tools May be fastened to the wall Till to let them go I call Thirdly sir I would implore That who break my sycamore May be fixed fast to the tree Till I choose to set him free All these boons I grant to you And my blessing add thereto Saying thus The angel sighs As from thence to heaven he flies For when choice like this is given If the chooser ask not heaven Nevermore by deeds or prayer Shall the spurner enter there But although thus doomed to hell Stingy Jack on earth prove well Large his flocks and strong his health Wide his lands and great his wealth Part 4, First Trick Now years have flown and youth is gone And Jack's last day is come And the devil sends a servant up To fetch the old man home At Jack's hall door the servant knocks And bids him come away Jack opes the door and asks him in And says, sit down, I pray In Jack's own seat, the servant sits And there is fastened tight Jack takes his flail and without fail He flogs him left and right And as he scored, the flunky roared At length he firmly swore That if set free, from thence he'd flee And never come back more when thus he'd sworn, Jack set him free, and off he went with speed. But many a servant besides him. The devil has it need. Part 5, Second Trick Next day, another one was sent, and ordered without fail, that stingy Jack he should bring back, and also fetch his flail. The second servant now came in, with cautious step and slow And told Jack In his master's name To hell he straight must go Says Jack This brogue I first must mend Barefoot I could not crawl So put your hand in yonder box And hand me down my all Within the box he poked his hand And there is tightly held Then Jack applied his famous flail Until the flunky yelled he yelled and roared, while old Jack scored. 
until as the first swore, the second flunky swore to go, and troubled Jack no more. Part 6. Devil And now the devil came himself, since servants would not do. Through Manderton, he rose in flame, and ordered Jack to go. Say, Jack, my lord, I'm ready quite. But dead lame is old Jack. You must get me a good stout stick, or take me on your back. Then from the sycamore hard by, the devil seized a bow, and fastened tight, and helpless quite. The devil is left now. Jack yelled with joy when the old boy he saw thus in his power, then hastened for his famous flail, and laid it on Galor. So loudly howled the devil then, his roars were heard quite plain, in Germany and Italy, and even in far Spain. Upon his back three flails broke Jack, and still he lathered on, nor did he stay his work that day, until the setting sun. Part 7. Ghost then, by his horns, the devil swore that if Jack let him go, he'd never bring, nor let Jack come, within his realms below. When thus he'd sworn, with back well torn, Jack sets the devil free, and from that day he stayed away, from Jack and from his tree. At length Jack died, and when his soul was from his body riven, it could not get through hell's wide gates, nor yet through those of heaven. By his free choice, he lost the last, and sat and did not fail, his oath to keep, and Jack to sweep, from hell's gates, with his flail. Then, since Jack is unfit for heaven, and hell won't give him room, his ghost is forced to walk the earth, until the day of doom. A lantern in his hand he bears, the way by night to show, and from its flame, he's got the name of Jack a lantern now. The end. Moo ha ha ha. Boo. Happy Halloween. Please subscribe.